All right, so we had such an awesome response for the last video about the sublimation process and how we go about that. We had a lot of uh, questions in the comments, a lot of them pertaining to how we slice our images or tile our images uh, using Photoshop and printing it from the uh, Epson F-570. So we're gonna show you that process now, stay tuned. <music> So first and foremost, thank you guys for such a, a receptive response to our first video. Um, we got a lot of likes and we got a lot of subscribers from that video. Uh, sublimation all over 3D shirt tutorial. Um, so we got a lot of good comments and we had a lot of questions from, you, from a lot of you out there. One of the questions that stuck out was about the templates we use to size our shirts in uh, how we go about because we have a 24 inch Epson SC F570 printer. How do we split uh, our become a part of power? Well, we have to split our shirts. How do we go about doing that? So, I'm going to kind of give you a walkthrough tutorial how we do that. So, right here, I got an image of a, another memorial shirt that we did for a client um, based in New York. And, uh, Pretty much got everything pulled up for you so um what how i go about splitting uh my shirts or tiling my shirts to be printed through our printer is um we pretty much got a, a basic template here of a shirt here um you can design this in photoshop it doesn't have to be nothing perfect it's something i downloaded a while back and uh first thing i uh, do is um, what you want to do. We work in uh, Photoshop, so that's what we do kind of where we do all our uh, designing and programming and splitting and whatnot. So, what you want to do first is uh, you want to come up here to view and you want to go down to where it says new guide layout. Okay, so this right here is going to pull up the new guide layout and you know, depending on the size of your printer, you can um, pretty much split your shirts in however many tiles you want. Like I said, because we're working with a pretty decent size uh, sublimation printer, we don't have to really um, cut it into too many pieces um, like you will see with a lot of the videos on YouTube. So um, up to five, I, I sublimate shirts up to 5X and 5XL and you know, with this size printer, you know, we don't have to make it no more than two tiles. So just to give you a, a perception of what that looked like, let's say if you needed to cut the shirt into uh, four tiles, right here you have columns. And if you needed to split in the middle, you have rows. So right there, you got this cut into four pieces. So if you have like a smaller printer, you might have to print out your uh, image like this and. Uh, attach everything together. Um, this right here is the gutter. Uh, you know, usually you won't need that nine times out of 10. It kind of just leaves a little space there in the middle. So you can go there and put that on a zero and that'll take away that space there in the middle. But like I said, we usually don't need any rows. So we cut our images right down the middle here. So I'm gonna so go ahead and show you how we do that. So. Um, so we got it on columns, two columns. I'm gonna print. If you watched my last video, you see I print the left side and the right side and vice versa. And then from there, we attach our photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. 
So I got that split right down the middle. Then you want to go over here to um, your crop tools and you want to go down here to the slice tool. And if you have this set on snap, you want to go ahead and click right there and cut your, cut your image right down the middle here. So, you know, it's slice it into two parts. That's the first part, that's the second. Now, from there, um, you wanna go up here to file, and you wanna go down to uh, export, and you wanna go to save for web. So, right, what that's gonna do is so you're gonna export this all into a folder, or, you know, somewhere on your computer where you can find, um, I usually leave the quality at 100. Um, so it's gonna take both of those those uh, slices and we're gonna save them and put them in another area here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And, as you, and then you're gonna go ahead and label that, whatever it is you wanna label, you wanna find the folder, depending on if you have a Mac or a Windows. So I'm just gonna call this um, I kind of already got it saved where I want it here where I save all my uh, my splits or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So, you know, that part's finished. So then what you want to go do is you want to go find those slices wherever you save them at in your computer here. So I'm going to go to my folder where I usually save them. And I'm going to go right here. I'm going to find those slices right here now this middle slice pulls up sometimes it's not really a big deal depending on what software you work with um, I'm gonna bring it in and go ahead and bring it into Photoshop but I'm gonna erase it I'm not gonna use that but here's the left half of the shirt here's the right half of the shirt so I'm gonna go ahead and open those up in Photoshop so there's your right half of your shirt there's your and you know by all means I'm not always perfect with, as you can see, there's a little, you know, but, you know, that doesn't really uh, bother me when it comes to making my shirt. It's not really a big deal. It's just, you don't have to be perfect. You know, that's that's what you like to do. Um, but here's a uh, right half. Here's a, well, that's that middle that I don't need. And here's the left half of the shirt. Then what I do is, which I've already made, um, you want to go up to file, and you want to make you a new um, a new uh, layer here, which I've already made here. Um, now, from there, I pull my two halves into um, that new blank layer or workspace because I like I'm visual. I, I like to see everything, you know, as one. Um, and what I do is I connect these these together um, from there um, because I want to move everything around uh, together I um, link my layers I don't merge them because um, okay sorry my phone uh, filled up with space there so as I was saying I don't merge the two halves together because uh, I'm still going to print them individually so for the time being um, I link them so what you want to do is you want to click that top layer then you want to click that second layer and then you want to right click and you want to just link them together okay um, from there um, I uh, center everything here um, this space is already the size of well I'll show you here so the other thing from there is I pull in another template uh, I downloaded this template a while back from another um, youtuber on uh, on here she uh, that does sublimation shirts and I'm not sure she created it. I can't find this template online anywhere, but uh, I think she had it on her website, and uh, that's kind of what it looks like. I'll show you here. 
over to the top here and it it pretty much is a reference a template to uh uh from a uh, small to uh, i believe that's a uh, 2xl jersey shirt so pretty much gives you an idea of how far out you want to make your image or your design to fit within the uh so when you go to press your design on your shirt, you have the, the appropriate size. Yeah, so um, the largest, we're doing a few of these shirts, the largest being an XL. So if you look right here, it's 2XL to I believe 5XL. Then you got large, the XL. So you just wanna make sure your design succeeds um, the margin that you're trying to uh, cover. So if you see the XL, it goes from here, goes up here, that's your arms, and you wanna keep your design within that space um, versus if you was doing a 2XL, you know. You wanna make your image, you, you wanna make, if you look at the image here, and it, I'll do this in another video, I'll go back here. Um, you wanna make sure you have a lot of background space within your image. You know, these the gate is not going to either side, but that you don't need that once you put the shirt on there, it fits perfect. But your background space, you don't want to make your image, you don't want your image to be like this guy, you know, you don't want him to be all on his sides. And, you know, you want to leave that blank space, you know, feeling like a design, like I got the clouds going just in case, you know, um, because I made a mistake in the beginning where I wouldn't make, I would make the image too big. And, you know, when I go to print it out and lay it on the shirt, you know, I have, you know, white spots. Like I didn't fully cover the shirt. So, you know, it's kind of trial and error. And I learned that as I went. So, um, so back to this. So the first size is the XL, you know, you got a box right here in the middle. Let me show you here. This is why I like this template so much because the way it's designed. I have another template for my jersey shirt, but I use this one uh, more than anything. If you look right here, it says text and photo safe area. It gives you a reference of pretty much anything that you want to be seen on the shirt. I suggest you keep it within uh, this safe area. You know, if it you know if, it's, if it doesn't extend, if it extends a little bit out, that's okay. But like. You know, I was to make its name way out here from either end. Most likely, once you wanted to put it on the shirt, you know, you wouldn't see that S and that H because you would have you made it too far out within the shirt. So, um, like I said, I can print this now and it'll probably be good. But because I'm only doing a a, a, a large shirt, I'm personally I'm gonna take the image here. Um, and I'm going to control T and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to shrink it a little bit. Hmm? Oh, sorry, it's uh, XL. I'm going to shrink it a little bit. Um, you don't have to do this. This is because, you know, typically they want, you know, you want your background to kind of always beat out to that line, but I've done this a few times and this kind of helps get more of my uh, design within the, within this square. So I'm gonna shrink it. I think we're doing an XL. My wife told me in the back here. So this is large the XL. So I'm gonna go maybe just halfway above that uh, XL large line. And I'm gonna follow the line here, still making sure that my image is within that uh, the blue line there and everything looks good there. So I'm gonna, that I'm satisfied with that. You know, you I, I, mean, I might play with it a little bit, but I think that's perfect uh, for the shirt I'm doing. And then from there, I'm gonna just kind of get rid of my template there, um, and then I'm gonna unlink the layers. And from there, you know, I'll print out uh, this side, and I'll print out the other side and we'll go through that just like the last video just so you can get a reference uh, 
of um, a complete um, image of how we do it. So uh, we'll go from there. One of the questions we, we kept having on our on the first video was, man, what kind of printer is that? So what we have here is an Epson uh, SC, which stands for short color, F570. This is possibly, in my opinion, one of the best sublimation printers on the market. Um, when we first decided we were gonna do sublimation print, you know, we were doing our research and we know a lot of people like to convert, you know, your standard household printer to a sublimation printer. Not knocking that, you know, to each his own, you do what you can do, but I found this to be a very, very great investment. We've used, this is one of the, it's one of the smartest uh, sublimation printers I've ever used. Like, it pretty much works itself. I just want to hold it for a minute, minute, minister to all who will listen to her. Please don't take her away. Allow me to speak through these parables. Okay, so here's the two halves taped together here, um, ready to be pressed. Uh, we're gonna turn it, heat press up to uh, 400 degrees, and we're gonna press this bad baby for 60 seconds. Um, the mirror, this automation printer does mirror the image because if you know anything about uh, sublimation, your mirror, your image has to be mirrored in order for it to uh, read from left to right on the actual shirt once you press it. Um, if you want to know how we put the uh, the process of getting the two halves together, taping them together, um, as you can see right here, tape right down the center seam. Uh, watch our first video that we put on YouTube. Uh, kind of goes through the process of how you. Uh, tape the two sides, the two images together, and um, what type of tape we use and whatnot. So yeah, just kind of go watch our first video on uh, on uh, sublimation printing, uh, and uh, they give you a full detail how you want to get your how you get your image together, how you get to this point here. Truth in there, produce real fruit. Hey. Some say it's all done, proud, exposed. You can't. Yeah.